But behind me here is a hill of around 15 degrees. So we're gonna go on eco mode and we're gonna do it on every single gear and we're gonna do it on zero start. It is also at a full charge. As suspected, no problem at all. 15 km speeds, top speed on gear one is 20 km an hour. Brake. <laughs> oh yeah, and one of the questions that has actually been asked from a person, now I'm gonna answer later on in the video, I'm gonna answer some questions that people asked on the very first, first ride video of the G4. What are the brakes like? Of course, I was going to slow speed there, going downhill. The calipers on the G4 model are actually bigger than the average caliper that you get on the likes of the Ku Kieran M4 Pro models. I am definitely surprised because I was skeptical at first. Anyway, we'll talk about that a little bit later on. Let me just go on to sport mode, which is gear two. Much more power, of course, on this. Straight away, motor is nice and quiet. Brushless motor. Suspension is really nice on these bumps. Okay, we're going about 40 here. I'm gonna slam on the brakes. Brilliant. And the torque from the actual rear motor, I think it's 38 Newton meters, if I'm not mistaken. I'll put the correct spec on the screen right now. There's no really point in doing this, but I'm just gonna do it for the purpose of the actual video. Race mode, zero start. Yep. Okay, we're going 50, 55. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Really nice. So that should answer your question really about the brakes on the G4. I gotta say, I love this scooter. In person, it's actually much bigger compared to what you see on the website. And when I did take it out of the box, I was like, whoa, that is much bigger than I thought. But the suspension on this, another question has been, what is the suspension like? Now at the front and at the rear, you have huge coils. These coils are gigantic. If you want to take this off road, I'm telling you now, you are going to have an absolute brilliant time. And of course, another question has been, do you get wobbles? If you are a first time rider and you plan on getting a high power scooter like this, well, you have to be careful. This back plate here, it's there for a reason. It's there to put your back foot on it, go on higher speeds, so you can have your body weight spread across the electric scooter. Doesn't give you any wobble, just be careful. I briefly explained this in the very first video on the G4. You can see here that it has a lock on point when it is centered, which means of course, when you are going high speed, you have a lot more stability there. We'll do another brake test. Okay, brake. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just stopped short. I just stopped actually right beside the camera there. We were hitting, I think it was 60 kilometers an hour there. The road here is a bit muddy, so it did skid a bit. That answers your question. Brakes can do a really good job on this, but ideally in most situations, people are not, gonna, not going to be going 70 kilometers an hour on a scooter like this. They might be sticking to the middle gear, which gives you around 40 kilometers an hour. And yeah, another question by the way was, is there an app for this scooter? No, there's not an app. You can actually do every single thing through the touch screen on the electric scooter. Well, here is just a brief overview of the display. It's a really nice large display, very easy to see in daylight. And to actually get a zero start on the scooter, you simply hold down the set button and you can see here it goes off. The mode button, of course, changes it into gear one, two and three. And of course, to turn on the light, you just simply hold down the light button. You can also change it into miles per hour if you want. Here is also another test I done. I had about 70% battery, wind coming towards me as well, and these are the GPS stats. This was a question asked actually on the very first video that I done on the G4. The top speed that was displaying on the scooter on this ride that you are seeing right now was actually 64 kilometers an hour on the scooter itself. Now on the GPS stats, it does end up displaying 61 kilometers an hour, which means that the display is not exactly accurate on most electric scooters that I've reviewed, this seems to be the case for a majority of them. They always seem to be off by two or three kilometers. So in reality, if it's saying you're going 70 kilometers an hour, you're probably going around 67 kilometers an hour, which is more than acceptable. Okay, so let's talk about the folding mechanism on the G4. Another question 
that was asked by a viewer. What is it like? Is it sturdy? Is it reliable? Yes, let me show you. You have a stainless steel pin here. You pull that out and then you just push your catch in towards the back of the scooter. And then of course it goes down like so. I'll give you a closer look right now. So you just, when you're looking at something like this, you have to take a look at how chunky the parts are. So this is the pin here, which is more just of a safety feature, I guess you could say. And then of course you have a chunky stem here, chunky latch. And then if you take a look at the actual frame design itself, it's actually quite impressive. You have, you do have all these screws here, but they are all locked tight together and it's quite chunky. And even the stem itself has a hollow part inside, but again, it seems to be given no issues. It's, it's a really simple design electric scooter. It's not kind of complicated. It is very, of course, as you can see, extremely boxy looking. Even the cable management is not too bad. It does run down the stem here and it actually runs into the back of the lights here, which is actually quite a nice feature. Uh, the lights, again, I'll show you now on screen what they're like at night time. Brakes, of course, do a fantastic job. And of course, these are the calipers, quite actually large in size compared to the ones that you get on the M4 Pro. They are only one static disc, which is on the rear there. So you only have the front caliper that actually closes on the disc, giving you the stop and power. But if you want in reality, it is possible you could put X-Tech semi-hydraulic brakes in this. But to be honest, from what I've seen, you don't really need it. Tires on this, huge 11 inch tubeless tires. Again, you shouldn't really have any issues there. They are quite a hard tire, so you can have, you know, do wheel spins, skids, have a bit of fun on it. You can see the coil suspension here. You can adjust the rebound if you want here, but they are really big. They might not look that big on screen, but uh, yeah, they have a good bit of travel and they're more than what you need. The deck size is actually quite large, to be completely honest. It is a very nice looking scooter. Backlight is actually quite a nice design. Only thing is, if you are lifting the electric scooter, it's probably best, as always, to grab it from underneath the swing arm at the back, or you can grab it from underneath the, where the battery compartment is, just for safety purposes. Of course, it takes you just a matter of seconds just to pop up everything. Pop that in, and well, literally, that's it. Okay, so I just want to talk about a few questions that a few viewers asked on the very first video of the G4. The first batch of these electric scooters, from what I've seen, had a few issues, but there was nothing major. The wobble, as I already said, just put your, ba your back foot on the back foot plate there, going higher speeds, and you won't have a problem. I can see the frame is not really going to give an issue. I think it's chunky. It's there. It's boxy. It seems safe to me. Tires do a fantastic job. You might say to yourself, how can you distinguish the first batch from the second batch? And that's where the key is actually located. There is a blank on this electric scooter up at the very top where the original production key was, but they didn't move it onto the side of the stem. So that's how can you, you can kind of distinguish the difference between the first batch and a second batch. By the way, this did come direct from Cube Kieran, of course, completely the legitimate side. This was asked by another viewer, can you get it from a, the direct supplier? And yes, it is. It is completely linked below and any discount codes that I have are actually there. Now, one thing you need to keep in mind if you actually plan on getting the G4, another question that was asked by a viewer is, what weight is this G4? Well, it is a whopping 27 kilograms. What does that mean? This scooter is not suitable if you actually plan on taking it on public transport, off public transport, up and down the stairs every single day because of that weight. I would suggest something like the Cube Kieran M3 that I reviewed a while ago, a fantastic starter electric scooter that has pretty much everything you need, but this is on a whole nother level. Speed, suspension, tires, of course you need to be careful, wear all the safety gear like what I'm wearing. Well, let's talk about the main factor of everything. Is the G4 worth the money they are asking? Let me just make something perfectly clear here. The quality on this scooter has improved greatly from the previous models like the M4 Pros that had issues, the M4s, those types of electric scooters that had issues back then. They have come such a long way. And for that reason alone, remember what you have with this. You have a 60 volt, 20 amp hour battery with a really good range. You also have higher speeds, 70 kilometers an hour. Realistically, you're not gonna be going on speeds every day, but you, but you have it there if you want. 
You have a really nice thumb throttle design. You have 11 inch tubeless tyres and on most electric scooters at this price point you only get around the standard 10 inch pneumatic tyres. You have suspension front and rear. Nice folder mechanism. You have indicators. You have a horn there. That's, you know, it's okay. Like It's not too bad. And I got to say from what I've seen so far. Yes it is worth every penny. And I would buy this if you are looking to step up. From a small electric scooter like a Xiaomi M365 Pro or something like a Kukiran M3 like what I just mentioned. And one other thing that I can't stress enough is the first batch of these scooters actually sold out quite fast because of the spec and the actual price. How many of these are back in stock right now I don't know. They took 6 months to come back in stock because they were getting made again for this second batch. So I don't know they may go out of stock really quick again. Who knows. So if you want one of these, I'll probably consider getting one as soon as possible if that's the case. Again, please feel free to ask any questions about the G4 and I will definitely answer them for you. It really is a good electric scooter. I'm very pleased to see Kieran come a long way with this style and I can only imagine what they are going to come out with even more. Very happy, no complaints whatsoever. Definitely just stay safe, wear a helmet and I will definitely see you in the next video.